If our ancestors from 1900 could look at us today, what would our ancestors think of us? They would think of us as wizards, sorcerers, the ability to have magic mirrors called the internet, flying carpets called jet airplanes. So that's how our ancestors of 1900 would look at us today. Now, if we could see our descendants in the year 21, what would we think of them living in 2100? I believe that our descendants will resemble the gods of mythology, Greek gods. For example, Venus had a perfect body and was immortal. Already in medicine, we are not just tackling diseases, but we are enhancing and perfecting the human body and also isolating the genes which control the aging process. We have already isolated about 60 genes which control aging. We cannot reverse it yet, but I think that by 2100, we may have the ability to have not just biological immortality of some sort, but also digital immortality. Then we have Apollo, the god of the sun. We will have solar power cheaper than fossil fuel technology of today because of revolutionary developments in batteries and storage. And we will also have fusion power. Already we believe that within 15, 20 years, we could have the first operating fusion reactor in southern France. And so we will have the power of the sun, Apollo, the god of the sun. And then Zeus was the father of the gods who could simply think, think and have things come true. That will be the future of brain-computer interface. For example, the internet. What will be the future of the internet? The internet of the future will be brain net. We will send memories, feelings, emotions, sentiments on the internet. Essentially, if, if you have a whole brain interface, everything that's encoded in memory, you could upload. You could basically store your memories as a backup. In the future, you will be able to save and re replay memories. Then ultimately, you could potentially download them into a new body or into a robot body. I'm confident that long term, it will be possible to restore somebody's full body motion. The future is going to be weird. Already in animals, we can now send the first memories in mice and now in monkeys on the internet. Very soon, we will be able to send memories to Alzheimer's patients to create a brain chip. There was talk of curing blindness by implanting the link in the visual cortex, treating mental health conditions like depression, anxiety and addiction, and connecting your brain and uploading it into a robot. You will push the button and memories come flooding into your hippocampus. Our goal is to solve important spine and brain problems. And so that is the internet of the future. When we send emotions, feelings, thoughts on the internet, and this is going to change everything. Entertainment, for example, will no longer be based on television or the movies. It'll be based on feelings that we can send on the internet. For example, when silent movies made the transition to talkies, that changed entertainment when we had movies that could talk. Now we will have movies that not only can talk, but can also feel and have sensations. And then we had Mercury, the god of speed. We will have supersonic transports, commercial supersonic transports, prototypes available in 2025. NASA has already stated that they want blueprints from Lockheed Martin and other manufacturers to create a supersonic commercial jet that has no sonic boom. The sonic boom is the reason why the Concorde was a failure. Supersonic jets, a failure because of the sonic boom. We will use supercomputers to solve that problem. And then we will also go to Mars. 
Mars, perhaps by 2030, 2035, the first astronauts will go to Mars, and the price of space travel is dropping dramatically. You realize that the movie The Martian, a hit movie, The Martian with Matt Damon, cost $100 million. But the Indians sent a probe to Mars for $70 million. So a Hollywood movie about going to Mars costs more than actually going to Mars. That has revolutionized space travel and so transportation will be revolutionized. And then last we had Pegasus, the flying horse. We will have zoos of extinct animals. We will be able to bring back animals that have perished tens of thousands of years ago. We now have the genome of the mammoth. We also have the genome of the Neanderthal. So in principle, we could bring back the mammoth and the Neanderthal. This is something that's being actively talked about in the scientific community today. The Asian elephant, Church says, is very closely related to the mammoth and so similar in sequence. In fact, the Asian elephant, while smaller than the African elephant, is even closer in sequence to all other elephant types. Researchers plan to do this by taking skin cells from these Asian elephants and putting them in stem cells, combine it with frozen mammoth DNA, all to create an embryo that would eventually create a hybrid elephant resembling the prehistoric giant that would thrive in a cold Arctic climate just like it did 10,000 years ago. And then lastly, what's wrong with this picture? We realize that the gods of mythology were also very foolish. They spent most of their time making tricks on each other and creating problems. What we need is wisdom, the wisdom of Solomon. And that is going to be extremely rare in the future. But there is hope. And the hope is that the internet spreads democracy. The more people are educated, the more empowered they are. And that creates more democracy. And democracies rarely war with other democracies. Think of every war you had to memorize since you were a child. Every single war. They've always been between dictators, between kings, queens, emperors, but never between two major democracies. And so the hope is, as we spread democracy around the world, as we spread the internet around the world, then wars, we will still have them, but wars will be diminished in the future. And so the hope is that we will also have the wisdom of Solomon to go with the power of the gods of mythology. We hope you found this video valuable. Let us know what your opinion on all this is down in the comments section. And don't forget to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this.